Realistically speaking, Victor Boniface should have retired before he had the chance to play in Germany, but this maestro of a striker has proved that it would take more than two terrible injuries to stop him. Since his arrival at Leverkusen, Boniface has done nothing but score goals and more goals, earning him the nickname Big Vic. But could he possibly be the next world's best striker? Before we dive into the video, smash that subscribe button like a Victor Boniface penalty and turn on notifications so you get to watch all our videos. I am Boniface, this is first and last. Victor Oko Boniface was born on the 23rd of December 2000 in the city of Akure, Ondo State, Nigeria. Because his grandfather held a position in the military, Victor Boniface and his family grew up in the military barracks, where he would play with neighbors older than him and make the decision to chase a career in football before the age of eight. Scouts visiting his school would be the gateway to him getting closer to his dream. Waving his chance of going to university, Boniface left his home city of Akure at around 15 years of age to join a Lagos-based academy, Real Sapphires, owned by Frank Peters, a Nigerian entrepreneur with foreign ties. His impressive displays during tournaments were reminiscent of why the academy picked him. From here, he would find himself in Norway in 2019. After a successful tryout at Bodo Glimt that saw him score two goals in one half, Boniface had found his new home. It wasn't all rosy though, as he would suffer a cruciate ligament tear just over two weeks after signing for Glimt. Missing over six months of action, he's way more than that. He has an eye for goals and a deadly strike, sure. But his skills also allow him to take on defenders, much like his idol Neymar. Well, Neymar. and his ability reminds the Bundesliga of another striker that used to terrorize the league, Robert Lewandowski. Boniface's all-around attributes of aerial prowess and high IQ plays make it feel like the pole never left the Bundesliga. And when he's not scoring the goals, he's supplying them. What makes Boniface scary to play against is his fluidity and adaptability. His dribbles are smooth as silk when he wants them to be, and he can also turn into an immovable goal-poaching classic center forward. That's why even when he fails to get on the score sheet, his manager Zabi Alonso doesn't lose faith in him. No doubt, Boniface is blessed with a special gift, and his statistics show that he's putting them to good use. The arrival of Harry Kane may have overshadowed Boniface's debut in the Bundesliga, but the Nigerian striker has given Kane a run for his money. As of the 15th of September 2023, Boniface had a goal contribution of 2.04 per match compared to Kane's 1.37. But that wasn't the only metric Boniface was topping the Englishman in. Boniface had 44 more touches and 25 more carries than Kane, showing which striker is more integral to their team overall. But Boniface's domination doesn't stop in Germany, he's coming for the whole continent. As of early November, his 53 shots on goal so far this season are the most any player has taken in Europe, beating the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland, and Harry Kane. Of the four of them, he has the most goal-creating actions with 14 and the most successful take-on with 39. Boniface has been involved in 17 goals in 16 games so far for Leverkusen. This means he has the ninth highest goal contribution in less than 20 games in Europe. As Leverkusen's top scorer so far this season, his importance to the team is undeniable. Without his goals and assists, Leverkusen would have been sitting just outside the top four. But he's important to his team for more than just his goals. As a striker, he has 54 challenges, the highest in Bundesliga and a 43% success rate, showing just how much effort he's putting into his team. But is there anything that can stop Victor Boniface right now? His time with Royal Union saint gilloise saw him miss over a year of football with not just one knee injury, but two. Coupled with the fact that he lost his mother around this time, he nearly gave up on football. It's amazing the heights he's been able to reach following his recovery, but given his history, he is very injury prone, and an injury would be detrimental to the momentum he has now. Nevertheless, there couldn't be a better manager for Boniface to work under than Sabi Alonso. The standard tactician is slowly molding this already talented striker into an utter beast of a striker. Boniface may not play for a top club like other prolific strikers such as Mbappe, Halaand, and Kane, but he's turning Leverkusen into one. This has prompted his name to be brought up in the world's best striker discussion. Even fellow compatriot and namesake Victor Ossiman, who finished eighth in the Ballon d'Or ranking, is being kept on his a-game by Boniface, who's keen on being a regular starter for his country. Former PSG and Super Eagles legend J.J. Okocha had nothing but words of praise for Boniface as he told Sky Column, He's been amazing. It's always great to see one of our own doing well. He gives us hope. It shows we are not short of talent. 
Victor Boniface has had a tumultuous path to where he is now, but his resilience has proved vital. He has both the skills and the stats to show for it, and it's really just a question of how far can he go for it. Do you think Victor Boniface is the next best striker in the world? What do you think he has to do to claim that title? Let us know in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.